Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here at Activate Learn on Twitter. It is time for another book review. And before I start, you're probably thinking, oh my God, you are so rugged up. What's with the hand warmers, the woolen knits, the heavy jumpers, and you probably can't see my Ugg boots and my heavy woolen socks. Well, the thing is, it is so cold here in Melbourne today that I am trying to reduce our energy bill because I don't know about you, about where you are. Prices for bills, energy, food, you name it, has skyrocketed. So what I'm trying to do is reduce our heating bill by simply rugging up a bit more. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So far, so good. Even though my feet are ice blocks and the house itself is utterly freezing cold. But never you mind. Anyway book review. Book review today is Patrick Modiano. Remember him? He was the French author. Another book I had reviewed about three or four books ago. French author wrote this book in 2001 and the book is called Little Jewel. It was translated from French because obviously he's a French author but he's also well known in France and around the world. In 2014, he received the Nobel Prize for Literature. And so uh, a lot of his books, he's, he's got lots and lots of prizes. But this was a book I picked out at um, one of the libraries, a very different library this time round, another library I hadn't been to. And they had a few of his books, so I chose a couple and Little Jewel was one of them. Now, Little Jewel, what is this about? It is about Therese. Now, Therese is a 19-year-old woman who grew up in a very, I guess, as a secluded and isolated childhood. She had a mum, but uh, she was led to believe that her mother had passed away some 12 years ago in Morocco and had obviously hadn't heard anything from her, but she had heard that she had passed away. So she has this kind of longing to understand where she came from and a little bit about her mum. And she's got a tin of, I guess, memory trinkets that and photos and things like that, that kind of trigger and recall some experiences and some memory for her. When she was a child, she had an uncle of hers who also helped out. But one day in Paris, she happens to spot this lady who's wearing a bright yellow coat. And this bright yellow coat triggers a memory of her mother. And in fact, she seems to think that that is her mother. And she follows her mother down the street to try and understand, you know, who, who she is and whether it's actually her mum. But as she's doing so, it brings up a whole heap of memories. And this book itself is really about Teresa's life and also a family that she is um, helping and babysitting a child that is also in a similar position that she was when she was a young girl. And that triggers and recalls certain memories and experiences that she's trying to piece together and try and understand why her mum didn't want her, why if her mum had passed away, where her mother was, and just trying to understand a little bit about why her mother had abandoned her. And um, so this book, if you're expecting, the way Patrick Modiano writes is if you're expecting a book with a plot, with a start, a finish and an end, with some kind of character turmoil or emotions in, in through it, then you won't find it here. You're going to get the character emotions throughout the entire book, but you're also going to get snippets of the character's recall of memory and triggers at any odd time. So where the story starts going one way, something gets triggered like a yellow coat, which makes the character think of another situation and sets the tangent onto something else. So the story itself kind of weaves around. It's kind of like you're reading a dream, if that makes sense. Now, I didn't mind that. I didn't mind that. Um, the writing here is lovely. Uh, it's very readable. And it's, uh, I guess for me, it, I also like the fact that 
it's wandering around the Paris streets and I love Paris. I love anything to do with France as well. So getting to learn more about the Paris streets and how those streets trigger memories um, and situations and experiences for the character. It is not a quick read, even though the writing is quite large. It is a book that you pick up and it kind of takes you down another little tangent. It's a, it's a, I'm not going to say a slow read. It's a read where you just kind of fall into it. You just, it has its own pace. It just moves you along, but know that you're going to go and steer onto different tangents. So that is my review for Patrick Modiano, Little Jewel. Let me know if you've read any of his books. Uh, let me know which were your favourites and how you found out about uh, Patrick Modiano. Anyway then, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And no, I'm not going to turn on the heater just yet. I think I can make do for a few more hours. I wonder how much that's going to save. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening and thanks for watching. Bye for now.